Okay, so I am at the car wash again, and today, all day, it seems that uh, this problem has come back. I thought it was gone. Um, this morning I made three trips to various places, and as soon as I put it in drive, this comes up. So I know there is a more serious problem here. Um, a YouTube user had recommended that I check uh, the harness for the hubs. However, I've never had a problem like this before. And since they replaced both front wheel bearings, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it to the dealer and uh, have them uh, look at it to make sure that they didn't screw something up. If they didn't, then it's the rear wheels. So I'll just have to uh, have to get them uh, replaced. So kind of kind of sucks because uh, right now I don't have the money to get it fixed. Uh, if this is in case uh, another problem, so all right. Today is an iced over nightmare. We uh, have a crap ton of ice everywhere. Although they've got the salt trucks down, they're doing okay with it. Um, just wanted to show you guys uh, what's going on with my car. Uh, you can see, I actually have figured out what the problem is. It's either the left or the right wheel bearing, which are both brand new. They still under the, uh, I believe it's 90 days. A 90 day warranty where I just have to basically bring it in and they have to fix it. But I'll show you what's going on with it. Uh, the problem has actually gotten worse. It pretty much happens every time I run my car, unless there's certain things that I'll show you. But with all the ice that's on the ground, I'm really uncomfortable with the fact that, that uh, the whole system is completely disabled. Your traction control, your stability control, ABS. I mean, all the safety features that come with a standard car are completely shut off, which I'm not exactly sure why they do that. Maybe somebody can enlighten me, but my car is running right now, okay? So watch what happens when I turn the wheel all the way to the left. Just like that. <clears throat> so the problem is in the front wheels, for sure, because the wheels aren't even moving right now. So the ABS system right now is not registering movement with any of the wheels. So my guess is that there is a, that the harness that plugs into the wheel bearing is loose. So when I turn the wheel to the left, it pulls on that harness and immediately triggers the uh, ABS system to a fault. Okay, that's, that's my guess. Because if there's no movement whatsoever, there's zero movement with all the wheels, it doesn't have anything to do with one wheel being locked up or anything else like that it's just the fact that uh, the harness has probably uh, gone bad so uh, I actually thought about hopping up under there and checking to make sure that it was plugged in all the way I can't imagine that they would uh, screw something up like that but you just never know now when I turn the wheel all the way to the right nothing Absolutely nothing happens when I turn the wheel to the right, so it's just when I turn the wheel to the left. When I'm driving, if I'm doing over about 15 miles per hour or so, when I turn the wheel to the left, no problems whatsoever. That is a mystery to me. I can turn left all day long as long as I'm moving uh, at a slow speed uh, or fast speed, it doesn't matter. But as soon as I come to almost a stop, like I was going through a drive through and I was creeping along, and as soon as I cranked the wheel, it did it. You can see here that nothing, absolutely nothing, I can crank it back to zero and there's no fault. But as soon as I crank it back over to uh, far left, it triggers the uh, the fault. So I am almost 100% sure that it is definitely the harness, the wiring, somehow is causing this problem. So here I'm gonna pull out of this parking spot, it's gonna trigger the code and then, you know, I gotta get gas anyway, but I don't like driving around without my ABS without my traction control, stability control. And you know, you could say, well, back in my day, we didn't have any of that. Yeah, I understand that, but if it's there to use, I'm gonna use it. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't hinder my driving. It's a safety feature, just like airbags. Yeah, back in the day, they didn't have airbags, now they do. I can't imagine anybody wanting to pull their airbag out just because back in my day, we didn't have those, so we don't need them now. Well, I'm, I like to have these safety features, and with ice on the road, you know, misjudging a turn or misjudging whatever. I want to be able to keep control of my vehicle, honestly. 
Okay, as you can see there, I was doing uh, maybe about 12, 13 miles per hour. Made my normal left. No problem. But if I were to sit here and crank the wheel all the way to the left, I'm immediately going to have a problem. So, I'm almost positive that it is a wire harness issue. I am almost positive 